And we are doing YT. Some of these stories are on the Jasmine brand, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Seth Rogen, when he was on Jimmy Kimmel Live earlier this week, talked about an incident at an Oscars after party. He had a lot of fun smoking with this person. I went to the Vanity Fair party. Vanity uh, Fair. Uh, yeah, I smoked some weed with Meg the Stallion and her brother. That was a good time. <laughs> Do you yeah. know them? No, I'd never met. I'd never met them before that night. But, Who approached who? Uh, she approached me, and uh-huh. she was adamant that I would get along with her brother. Someone backstage told me that she doesn't have a brother. So oh. now I'm confused about this whole thing. Ooh. Well, and that was her manager, by the way. Right. Who she was with. See, that's Paris. fun, though. You never know who you might end up smoking with. I will say that's the equalizer for people. Weed? Yeah. <laughs> All different types. It, brings, it don't matter who you are. It brings people together. And by the way, speaking of the Oscars, did you know that Oscar nominees have to pay $63,000 in taxes for their gift bags? I had no idea. Is that crazy? That's wild. But so you I'm get g- all this stuff that's free stuff, mm-hmm. but the IRS actually, you know, takes their taxes from it. So they're saying that these the value of these bags were between one hundred and twenty three and one hundred and twenty six thousand dollars. All different kinds of things uh, from various companies, candles, plots of land, plots of land. Yes. Oh, wow. So the IRS is saying this is a taxable income. And you would have to pay taxes. You have to pay the California taxes if you're based in California, state and federal taxes, all of that. Interesting. I never knew that. Like, keep your gift bag. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Young M.A., our prayers go out to her. I love Young M.A. She's from Brooklyn, like me. Mm-hmm. And she had recently there was a video out where people were saying that she looked like she was not doing well. Right. She was at the barber and people were going in and like, yo, you know, we don't know what's going on with her. She's not looking good. But she did confirm that she's been ill. She said, as many of my supporters know, I've been dealing with various personal health issues the last few years. I recently was hospitalized and was successfully treated for several conditions. I'm doing better now. We'll take some time, but I'm on the road to recovery and look forward to the future. Okay. Now we know and now we can leave her alone, right? Yes. Okay. We can leave her alone. <laughs> we actually went to Johannesburg to South Africa. Together? We had an event. Mm-hmm. And so she was part of the event and I was also. She seems like a good time. Yeah, we had fun with her in the club. <laughs> no, but she was. She was great. And she's a great performer. Nice. So shout out to her. Okay. And Ryan Reynolds, he is an investor in Mint Mobile, this wireless company. And T-Mobile purchased that company for $1.35 billion. Oh, wow. Yes. Talk about a great investment. Sheesh. So he actually posted about it and... Uh, with the amount that he owns, we don't know what the exact amount is, mm-hmm. but they said it is significant. According to uh, Variety, they reported that his stake could be as much as 25%. Oh, wow. That, that's a hell of a flip. Feels good, <laughs> don't it? <laughs> that's why y'all got to invest. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they pay off. Sometimes they don't. And sometimes they don't. But mm-hmm. it is always a risk yep. to take, right? Mm-hmm. All right. DJ Khaled has teased a golf TV show that he's doing with Diddy and Mark Wahlberg. He posted, let's go golfing. There's a bidding war for the Let's Go Golfing TV show. Every network wants to show. And here is that trailer. Today, we shot the pilot for Khaled's new TV show. I love this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All streamers, all <laughs> platforms. It's a bit of war going on. It's a bit of war. I was, I was the, I'm not going to lie. Puff's in the lead. He's in the lead. So it could be on Revolt. Yeah, it could be. I would like to see that show. I mean, anything Khaled does is kind of amusing to me. <laughs> like, I could just see him watch, like, watch him watching TV and I'd probably be laughing. He is enjoying his life as a rich person does. <laughs> yeah, yes. And Diddy, as you know, is also trying to put his foot in his, uh, his bid in to get BET. <laughs> okay. To own BET. And he posted media is the most powerful industry in the world, but it's the industry where we have the least amount of ownership, influence, and control. It's time for BET to be black owned again. So we have the power to tell our own stories, control our own narrative. This is not about me. It's about we. I'm building a team of leaders and the culture to pursue ownership and BET together. We have to unify our power and resources to create real change. Okay. I could see that. Mm -hmm. And he does have revolt already. Yeah. All right. Well, that is your Yeetie. And as y'all know, it is Women's History Month. Okay. And so, you know, every time, every day this month, we've been making sure that we highlight and shout out some amazing women Mm -hmm. who've done incredible things. Some of who are well known, some maybe who aren't. But we want to make sure y'all know everything that women are bringing to the table mm-hmm. and this is just a little small portion of it it's way up with angela Yee. when we come back we'll be talking about women's history month and of course i got my girl jasmine brand she's a woman i'm way up with <laughs> angela Yee.